ISIS insurgents killed by lions and crocodiles in Mozambique. Recent reports show that wild lions and crocodiles have killed many ISIS insurgents in Mozambique. Uh, Bernardino Rafael, the local police chief of the uh, Kisanga district in Cabo Delgado, said that in the fight against the jihadist fighters, locally known as Al-Shabaab, the wild animals contributed to the death toll of the insurgents. Snakes, buffaloes, lions, and crocodiles living in the forest of, the nor of northern Mozambique may have more experience killing Islamic militants than the pro-government forces currently fighting with ISIS. <laughs> The regional forest is the hideout for the ISIS insur insurgents. According to the British think tank International Institute for uh, Strategic Studies, ISIS aims to create an internal power struggle within Mozambique by taking advantage of the socioeconomic problems and ethnic and religious marginalization from the national government in Maputo. So far, almost one million people have left their homes for the uh, in fear of their lives, and more than 4,000 have lost their lives in this insurgency. I don't, I don't know. Is it bad that I like this? Or I'm like... I don't know. If it's bad, ha! can't be bad as well. <laughs> if it's bad, then I'm evil. Okay, Shreya Shreya is judging us. Shreya is saying, painful, that's no way someone should die. I mean, these people caught, like... It, it reduces misery and uh, the average misery in the world is being reduced. I mean, if you add their misery, that's a good point. Yeah. So yeah, they're mi it's a miserable way to die, but ne it's a net benefit. So, I mean, I will celebrate this. Am I evil? F if I'm evil for celebrating this, then consider me evil. I think people <laughs> need to have more context. I mean, everyone knows, Oh yeah. ice is bad, but like, this group in particular in Mozambique, they will go around and literally behead entire villages. Entire villages. Like, hundreds of people. Um, and they're, yeah, a really, really despicable group. So, I think it's a little bit of, like, schadenfreude to be like, yeah, some of these guys getting taken out by lions... Like, thank you, lions and crocodiles and snakes and buffaloes. You're doing us a favor. But there were some people saying that the amount killed by the wildlife might be more than the actual armed forces, which I thought was... What kind of are these lions and crocodiles made of? Actually, here's a comment. Read this one. Um, Shaiban is saying, are we sure they're not military-grade crocs? <laughs> I want to see some trained, <laughs> military trained crocodiles, okay? Have you ever seen the the video of the Russians like training seals for the army? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that, but with lions and crocodiles. <laughs> Jeez. How has this happened, though? Like... Are they just like walking alone in the middle of the jungle? Like, how is this like, do just lions just show up at their camps? I don't know. How do so many of them get eaten by lions? Do they not have guns with them? Wouldn't lions just run away if you just shoot some bullets in the air? I don't know. I mean, because they have to live out in the bush. They have to live in the forest, you know, as they're going around raining terror on the local population. I've seen lions run away just if you clap really loud or you just make big noises. Yeah. I think it's what about those crocs. Lions. I think that, yeah, I don't, the crocs, no, the crocs, you can't, yeah, you're screwed if you're in the water with those crocs. Yeah, that's so scary. That yeah. death roll they do, holy crap. Actually, I think the thumbnail is mis is, is not accurate. It should be a I female they, lion because the male lions the don't hunt. No, the male lions are pussies. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. No, like seriously, it's the male lions. They don't, they're not very much interested in conflict unless it's with another male lion to prove that they're the head of the tribe. Right. But like lions, if you just like, if they, the females are the aggressive ones, the hunters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I bet you there was the female lions that killed. Well, them. and then there, I think, I don't know how much the lions and crocodiles were actually going after them, but like worrying about snakes. 
I would be willing to bet that that's probably a lot of where this is coming from. Because snakes, they're so deadly, and they yeah. can they can be a lot. We want stats. I want stats of ISIS members died by which animal? Okay, <laughs> we need <laughs> we need accurate stats. Like ISIS members died by snakes. ISIS members who comes died out by... on top? Can I we give a commemoratory medal as a representative to one <laughs> animal from the winning? <laughs> we should make a meme. We should make a meme with Biden putting the purple heart on a snake. Yes! <laughs> some lions. Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah. god! I bet you it's the snakes. I bet you it's the snakes yeah. that come at number one. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, we need a pie chart. Oh, look at <laughs> Islamic, what is this? Oh, this is just, you know, some of their propaganda. Man, ISIS is very active in Africa, eh? People have yeah, forgotten yeah, yeah. about them, but they're, like, really active. Particular, maybe in Africa the most. I don't know statistically. But we have this group in Mozambique. We have ISWAP across the Sahel. I think we have a second one in the Sahel as well. I might be wrong. Mm. Then there's obviously ISIS K in Afghanistan. Are the, I think those are the main places right now. Can you think of anything else? They tried their luck at Philippines. That didn't work that well. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I can imagine how that went. The government yeah. does not mess around. <laughs> they do not yeah. mess around. They do not care. <laughs> People, people want uh, pie charts. People are like, I yes, know, I them. need actual statistics. I couldn't find any today. I was like, no, give me the details. <laughs> but I'm saying, train the freaking beasts. Train them. Yes. <laughs> oh, these saying the, the wildlife said no to Islam. <laughs> the wildlife is allergic to Islam. Yeah. Pretty good. I mean, do you think they would be like, hey, was, isn't Allah supposed to be on our side? Like, they usually get help from nature. Like in the Quran, like mm. usually like it's like doves and spiders and stuff like helps the prophet. So if nature is against you, wouldn't that be a sign that you maybe are on the wrong path? Or maybe, no, this is how this is how I would justify it if I was in their camp. They're like, these are some very, very, very hard conditions. More proof that Allah is trying to test us to see if we will quit. That's how... We must be on the right path wow. because the more hard, difficult your path is, the more you know that you're on the right path. See? It's very convenient how... how religion teaches that to people, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. See how I spin that? I, I would have made a really good preacher. Yes. <laughs> Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.